haven't even brushed my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Bradford, what's up, man? Um, all the poses start from the, the feet up, so I figured a quick video would be easier than anything. So, alright, feel my feet. So you want to be roughly shoulder width apart. Uh, in the past, I think I've been too wide. But anyway, so, it look, I mean, the distance of your feet looked fine in the pictures you sent. So you're going to turn your feet a little bit out, which turns your quads, instead of being here, your quads come out so they open up so you have more quad sweep. And then you're going to imagine pressing the floor apart. And watch what it does. So when I do that, you can see you start, you know, everything starts flexing. Then I want you to bring your hips slightly back. And that brings out the sartorius. Okay, so I'm flexing my quads. Knees are slightly bent, which which uh, flexes your your teardrop vastus medialis, and you can see everything. Now, the leaner you get, the easier this is because you you actually see all this happening. So you're not flexing the abs in front relaxed. The abs are not going to be flexed. They're not going to be vacuumed either. Exactly, it's more like you're just gonna you're gonna bring your rib cage up, and then you're gonna flare your lats. So watch. Starting with my legs, then then to my uh, my hips, and then my stomach. My, I'm airing up, bringing up the rib cage, flaring my lats, and then bringing the hands. You're gonna tuck your thumbs, and you come right here. And this is the front relaxed. Got it. You can watch that again a couple times. All right, now for the rear pose. It's the same thing. You start with the feet about shoulder width apart, you turn them out because you still want that quad sweep from the back and then imagine you're pulling like a hamstring curl, you're pulling so you want to pull out the hamstrings so you're going to pull back with my feet, same thing, slightly bent and then you're going to squeeze the cheeks so they should be flexed, you're still pulling the hamstrings, lower back is going to be slightly arched but not, not too much. And then same thing, air up, flare those lats, bring the arms out, and don't look down. A lot of people look down like this. You want your head to be straight. It looks better. And then that's it. All right, now I'll, I'll touch on the side poses so you can start practicing those. Um, these are the, literally in my opinion, the side symmetry poses are the most difficult poses. So you're gonna take your foot, you're going to be slightly staggered in front of the other foot. You're going to flex your butt cheek, which you probably won't be able to see right now since you're not lean enough yet. And then the same thing, you know, your quad is flexed, everything's flexed. You're going to be just like you're in the front, relaxed, so you're going to air up. And then, you know, your arms are in the same spot, and then you're just going to twist. Like, imagine grabbing a broomstick and twist, and then, like, you're grabbing for your scabbard like a sword. So just literally and then shoot this arm down make sure everything's nice and in line you don't want to be bent like this or like this it should be straight in line and then you're, you're jamming this right here so you got the flexion here your shoulder opens up because that gives you more taper from here to here makes this area look so small and you have a pretty pretty thin waist anyway so this pose will look good on you don't forget you know keep the legs flexed and then you're not looking this way you're looking straight ahead Dip the chin slightly, it looks better. And the same thing for the other side. Alright, cool. Let me know if you have any questions.